Hi, so today I'd like to look at something a little different. So um, I want to talk about XY wings in regular Sudoku. So um, super important to be able to identify and use this technique to solve um, what are considered very hard Sudokus on especially the dailysudoku.com website. Uh, this is a common theme that you'll see very often on that site. So um, in order to solve these, you have to be able to identify and find um, XY wings very quickly. So what an XY wing is, if you don't already know, is a three digit combination where, for example, in this puzzle, we have seven, eight, six, eight, and six, seven. So you can do that in two different ways here, six, seven, seven, eight, and six, seven. And basically what the rule is, it says looking at the outside two numbers. So there's always kind of like a pivot point. So the 70 is technically your pivot point because everything hinges off of that. So you have 7, 8, 6, 8, and 6, 7. And they all kind of rely on the 7, 8 being here. So this is the pivot point. The, the two digits, or I'm sorry, the two of the numbers, um, if it's offset like this, will be in the same box. So you would never have the 6, 7 here. Um, it has to be right next to, you know, in the same box as the 7, 8. The other number can be well outside, but on the same column or row, depending on how the thing goes. And what we'll do is we'll look at a bunch of different examples of how this works, and you can look for them yourself. So in this first example, um, the 6, 7, 7, 8, and 6, 8 means that, uh, so one thing in the rule is when you have the three boxes, the outside two numbers that are the same, meaning the sixes in this point, can't be um, used in any of the boxes that intersect with those two items. So intersecting meaning this six, seven here. Um, we'll actually see some examples a little bit later of ones that go outside of, you know, have a little bit more extension than this. But for this example, um, the sixes are both used here. So this cannot be a six. So this number is always going to be a seven, which is what allows you to solve this whole puzzle. So, um, so yeah, so this is essentially the key to solving this Sudoku. I'm using autofill. Um, I don't normally use that, but I just wanted to show you that this um, totally solves this entire puzzle. Before that, I'm sorry, um, this puzzle is considered you know, super hard. Um, but when, once you understand the technique of solving the, the XY wing, you should be able to solve these very easily. So, um, so now we're going to do a second example. And what I want you to do is basically pause the video and say, hey, where's the XY wing in this puzzle? Um, so you can pause it for a few seconds. You know, I'll, I'll wait a couple seconds, and then I'll kind of reveal um, where, where we're talking about here. So in this puzzle, uh, over here, we have the one, six, four, six, and one, four. So once again, the one, six is our pivot point. Um, the four, six, and so it's one, four, six. So um, it's important to know that you can't use the same number. So it can't be one, six, one, four, one, four. Um, it has to be, you know, using the, the numbers separately. So one, six, four, six, and one, four. So there's three different types of that same combination. But what it says is, that this 14 cannot be a four. So um, so this is gonna be a one. And once again, that will solve this entire puzzle in general. Now, sometimes you'll encounter XY wings that don't solve the puzzle, they just lead to other XY wings. Um, I don't think we're gonna do any of those examples in this series here, but maybe at a later time we'll, we'll show that. And when I do my super hard Sudoku's, um, you know, I'll say, hey, here's an XY wing. and Basically, that's what I mean. So you need to be able to quickly identify these um, in a very hard Sudoku and understand the rules behind them. So moving on to another example. So once again, there's an XY wing here. So you can pause the video and try to find the XY wing. And once you do, um, that's good. Now, this one is actually a little bit different than, than the other two. The other two were kind of offset where they existed in the same box. So, uh, you know, hopefully you paused the video, looked for it, and found it yourself. But the way that this guy works is 
2.8, 2.6, and 2.7. So this is actually in like kind of an X-wing formation where they're in the same row column. Um, so here we have 2.8, 2.6, and 2.7. And because of that, these twos, um, sorry, oh, did I miss that up? I'm sorry, yeah, so, sorry, it goes this way, 2, two 7, 2, 6, 7, and, and 2, 6, sorry. So I had it thinking backwards. So 2, 6, 6, 7, and 2, 6. Um, so this is our X wing here, or I'm sorry, our X, Y wing here. And that means that this number here cannot be a 2. So this is our 8. Um, then, you know, once again, it lets you fill in like, all the rest of this puzzle. So when you when you grade it now, it goes... Oh, this one is actually still very hard. So, oh no, so it turned easy. So, um, in this one, that's that's the hinge that solves this whole puzzle. So, um, so that one was a square to do, uh, square X Y wing, and you need to be able to identify either type. So you need to be able able to identify the offset ones, where the characters are in two of them are in one box and one of them is in the other, but in square ones they can be in completely separate boxes, but on the same row column. Um, so this next one, uh, we'll take a look at it here, um, is going to be another square one. So uh, in here, we have 1, 2, 1, 3, and 2, 3. So you know this now says that neither of these, well, both of these boxes are 3. So the intersection point, meaning the other corner of the square, cannot be that number. So this is a 1. And that will solve this whole puzzle. So, um, once again, it doesn't guarantee it, but it's a pretty good bet. So, here we're back to another one, and you can once again pause the video and try to find where this um, X Y wing may be located. So, if you paused it, you should have found that this one. Is another offset where it's 8, 9, 1, 8, and 1, 9. So this XY wing here has two 9s, and this 19 cannot be a 9. So this will be the 1, and that will be essentially the solve for this whole puzzle. Um, you can see down here the date of each of the Sudokus. You can go to the archive section of dailysudoku.com and solve each of these puzzles from scratch. You know, once again, not using auto sweep. I just did that to be able to quickly demonstrate what, what's going on here. Um, so let's look at another one. Uh, this one actually is slightly different than the last one. So if you want to pause and look and see if you can find um, where this guy is, um, feel free to do so. And so hopefully you paused it and you found it. So this one is 3, 5, 3, 4, and 4, 5. So these three guys here form uh, kind of a strange shape for an X, Y, wing, but it's fine. And what that means is that this 5 and this 5 can't be repeated in this square here. So sometimes the X, Y wing extends into um, multiple squares. So here, neither of these two can be a 5. So that means that this has to be a 5 for 1, and that this 7 and 6 and 3 all resolve. So um, so once again, this is going to solve this whole Sudoku here. Um, so yeah, so that one's a little bit different because once again, you have to look at your intersection points and see that it can affect multiple other points. So now we'll do another one. So this one you can um, pause and take a look and see if you can find where our XY wing is here. So hopefully you were able to solve this one. And this guy is going to be um, 6, 8, 4, 6, and 4, 8. So it's actually here. So um, these three squares means that the fours cannot be um, used in this square. Because once again, that kind of completes this square here. So this will have to be a 6. And then that will go on to solve the rest of this puzzle. So in our next example, um, you know, once again, unfortunately I have this highlighted here. So this one is four nine, three nine, and three four. So um, 
So this is our guy here, and neither of these can be a, you know, these these have the intersection where this cannot be a four. So this becomes a one, this becomes a two, a six, and then you know hopefully once again that solves this puzzle. Um, but you, you need to be able to quickly identify x, y wings if you want to solve these you know very hard variants. Uh, the next one. Um, similar scenario. So here we have um, 1, 7, 1, 6, and 6, 7. So that means that, um, oh, and this one's actually kind of interesting because this one tells you that this square cannot be a 6, and this square cannot be a 6, and this square cannot be a 6, and this square cannot be a 6. Now, it's very important to notice that this square still has a 6 in it, but it, um, it can't be identified as as not a six because it's not part of the intersection of this x y wing. It's just in this one column. So just because it's in this column doesn't mean that it intersects. It has to touch both the sixteen where the sixteen lasers you know x rays into it, and the six also hits it. So um, for example, this six is not identified, but you know these two were and these two were because of the XY loop. So once again, super important to be able to identify which are legal squares to remove and which are not. So, um, so once again, you can work this puzzle out more if you want to see how it solves, but we're not going to get into that. We, we just want to be able to find the XY wing and resolve its points. Uh, so this final one, um, there's actually two separate x, y wings in the same puzzle here. So we have, it's um, 479. So you can see there's 479 here. Uh, but there's also a 479 here. So both of these create x wings uh, and x, y wings, and you can resolve them either way. So this one says that there can't be a 7 here. And this one, where it's um, this 4, 7, 9, means that this can't be a 9. So that's actually kind of, you know, that's my last example, and I wanted to kind of mention it. So, you know, it doesn't always have to be one inside of a puzzle. There can be multiple. So once again, that means that this has to be a 7, this has to be a 9, and then everything else kind of falls into place from there. So, um, yeah, hopefully you found this informative and will help you solve your very hard to do. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Thank you.